All right, hello everybody, and welcome to uh, my new series, Metroid Chronicles. In this series, I'm going to be playing through all of the Metroid games in chronological order, which will eventually build up to the entire story of Samus Aran. All right, so we're going to begin with Metroid Zero Mission, because it is... It's the first one. Well, when I say all of them, I mean all of the ones that fit in the storyline, so... This is the first Metroid game, which was also the first Metroid. Then we'll play the Metroid Primes. Then we'll, then comes Super Metroid. No, I'm sorry, then comes Metroid 2. Then Super Metroid. Then Metroid Other M. And then Fusion. And then we'll be done. So, let's begin. I'm using a uh, PlayStation 2 controller to play this. I'm just going to do File A. Start the game on normal. So, testing to set everything up, I did play through the first, like, I think, eh, 10, maybe 15 minutes of this, so I already kind of know what I'm doing. But. Metroid has such amazing music. Morph Ball. Item number one, the easiest one to get. Next up, I believe, is some missiles. And then the long beam, or maybe the long beam and then the missiles. Whoa! Ha. Ah. Make him fall. These are bombs, so we don't have bombs yet. Let's continue through here. Get away. Ah, dang it. You really need the longer beam to do this. Whoa. What? I did, I did not even notice that. And I believe there's an energy tank up here somewhere. Yep, right there. Can't quite get it yet, but... Once we have the ice beam, maybe. Chozo statue. Yeah, the little circles on the map represent items that you don't have yet. And the dots represent items that you've gotten. So if we look at the map, you can see the dot in the lower left-hand corner was the morph ball. And the circle it was that energy tank we saw. So we'll continue on. Pfft, who needs saving? Actually, I'm OCD though, so let's explore it. And since we're in here, we might as well save. Awesome. Climby, climby. This was the most annoying part of the original Metroid, which I have beaten, despite its evil difficulty curve. This game is much nicer. Not to mention it's got better graphics. Well, has more pixels. Alright, we can't go in there yet. Our beam isn't quite long enough to reach. Nope. This is where we need to go, I believe. Oh, I suppose we could go further up. Ow! Fool! Or maybe we can't. Oh wait, I think we can. There we go. But, uh, we want to go to the long beam, though. Gotcha. Head down through this way. See if we can get that energy. We can. Awesome. Do, do, do. Long beam. I'm not entirely sure why they included it in this game. Nostalgia, I guess. Yay, stuff refilled. 
Okay, cool. Nope. Continue forth. And it actually makes your beam a little bit more powerful, I noticed. So we'll continue on this way. Ah. Wrong button. L. L makes you fire diagonally. R switches to missiles. Up here. So for those of you who don't know, the Metroid series is actually my favorite series. I'll admit, some of my favorite games come from the uh, Zelda series, like... Um, well, uh, Wind Waker was a really fun one. Uh, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was fan-freaking-tastic. The only part about it that I didn't like was your companion, Fee. This may sound impossible for those of you who know what I'm talking about, but she was actually more annoying than Navi. I died already! That is fail. I fail. Wow. It's a good thing we saved him here. Well, maybe not. Not like we were very far into the game yet. Alright. Let's go all the way back through all of that. How's that sound? Maybe I'll just cut. Because that's lame. Alright, let's do this. Haha, <laughs> jumped over you. You missed. Gotcha. Alright. That works a little better. Oh yay, full health. Those are also convenient one-way things. Apparently we need to go over there. Let's proceed that way then. Yeah, see, now we only need one shot to kill those guys. Whereas before we needed, I think, two. Which is nice. We can get in here now, which is where we're supposed to be going. And we can shoot all the way across the screen, that's so wonderful. Need missiles for that. We can get up here, I think. But the missiles are down. So why would we want to go up here? Ah. Those little bugs are annoying. Ah. I don't remember what's up here, and it's not on the map. No, we'll just go get the missiles. So these little bugs look harmless, but if you're, uh... Oh, save station, cool. If there's too many of them on you, then they start draining your health. And the more of them are on you, the more they drain your health. Alright, continue downwards. Boom. Boom. Ow. Boom. Gotcha. Whoa! Die. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah! Fail. Alright. Missiles! Opens red hatches. And there's nothing over here. I already checked. Ah! charge. In my case, hold square. And now we've got the pseudo-screw attack as well. Let's go.
Not that we need it for those guys. Huh. No. Also, if you're really pro, you can do a whole bunch of wall jumps, but... I don't know, I'm not that pro. Huh, ah, see, there's a wall jump. You can actually wall jump up the same wall, end style. Head through here. Oh no, not these things, I hate these things. Oh. Get away from me here! Oh. And then I'll get up. Yeah, down here. Cool. We need a power grab for this, I think. I think we could do it if we were really pro. Oh, we don't have bombs yet, actually. That's what we need. It's always tough playing a new Metroid game when you assume you have stuff and then you don't have stuff. Get away from here, fools! Oh. There. No, stay... Ah. No, me gusta. I think you can actually jump ever so slightly higher if you do the spin jump. Oh, or I just destroyed that block. Okay, cool. We want up here. There's a secret over here. Yay, missiles. Everybody loves missiles. We have more missiles now. Shall proceed forward. Quite bombs. Oh no. And yep. It's right there. Cool. And I think we defeated the worm earlier, so it's not gonna pop up here. But if you don't, it just like keeps popping up over and over again, trying to get you to get the charge beam. But we killed it first try. Bro. And where's our goal? We're pretty close to it. Oh no! Look before you leave. Okay, good. Maybe you actually jump lower when you spin jump. Like the opposite of what I was thinking. Okay, I believe if you go down here, there's stuff. Oh, map room. Yeah, that's useful. Awesome. We now know where Norfair is and where we need to go. Brinstar map data acquired. Metroid was actually how I learned the word acquired. When I was like, I think 12, I was playing Metroid Prime in the basement. When it was there, because I don't know, I think my mom was trying to print something out or something. And I got a missile. I got a missile uh, expansion. And so I said, yes! Missile expansion accurate! And they laughed at me. Which was totally okay, because then they told me that it, it was actually pronounced acquired. And I learned a new word. Which, yeah, so. If anyone ever says video games aren't useful, and video games don't teach you things, uh, first have them go watch a Penny Arcade series called Extra Credits. And second, have them watch this video. And there's like half a jillion little bugs in there. Boom. Bombs. Oh, bomb. Bomb. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's refill our one missile, too. Awesome. And then we will get on here. And if, I blue, and if I'm right, there's a secret passageway. Yep, 
more missiles. And come back out this way, shoot the door. And then we're gonna have to go a bunch of little crazy dudes. Yep. So you get too many of them on you, they start, start sapping your health. Uh, cool. And we had to do that to open the door. I don't know. Oh, get away from here. Oh, fools. I don't know, where do we go? Apparently we have to go down. Yeah. Okay, because we can't jump that high yet. We don't want to go that far down. Whoa! really easy compared to like Metroid Prime where you're only allowed three bombs on the screen at once then you actually have to time it to double bomb jump whereas here you can pretty much just infinite bomb jump just by mashing this button or you can like triple bomb jump or something if you get the tempo right you can actually like jump really high if you get the tempo exactly right though, or you have to have wicked mad timing skills. Ah, killed all of them. And here is the place we need to go, or this is going to tell us the place we need to go. Apparently we need to go to Norfair. Right there. Yeah, now we have full missiles, and since we have the bombs, we can actually go really quickly again. Oh. Ah. 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 This is when the pseudo screw attack is useful. Where's the nearest save station? Right there. Cool. So we'll go get the missiles, and then hit the save station. And we'll call that good for this episode. Tell me what you guys think. Actually, you know what? I'll leave that for the outro. But personally, Metroid is one of my favorite series. So, it is my favorite series. And Nintendo needs to add games to it way more often than they do. It also has some of the coolest music and some of the best remixed music out there. Ever. Seriously. It's awesome. Okay, cool. Ah. And now we don't have those stupid bugs bothering us. Nope. Nope again. Oops. Oh! Yeah! That's pretty pro right there. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Running, running, running. Safe station down here. All right. Tell me what you guys think of this new series. Farewell, everybody.